This video will demonstrate the principles of using MDrummer to effectively and efficiently create a drum track to a song. It is important to watch our MIDI command method tutorial prior to this video, so you understand the principles of some of the methods used here. I'll start by briefly acquainting you with the track I'll be using. Get back, you feel me? Yeah, get back, y'all, out my face! I'm gonna spread your brains all over the place I'm gonna kick through that door and make a scene Hit your dog with a roll-up magazine Get back! You know I pity the fool I wanna have to send you right back down to grammar school Yeah, you know I'm hotter than hell And I'm gonna vex you Gonna put you under my spell if you can I'll start by loading an instance of M-Drum of VST1 out into an instrument track I'll choose hip hop for this track and find an adequate rhythm. Cause I rule this town now. Who you wanna party? Get back, get back, get back, y'all. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, y'all. Get back. I'm also going to add an instance of M multi band limiter to make the drum track hotter from the offset. I'll now add a MIDI track and route the output to M-Drummer. The song starts with one bar of silence. I'll insert a MIDI note on C-2 to play an intro, followed by seven bars of groove and a one bar break. I'll copy and paste the 8 bar sequence until I have 7 instances in total. You've been hearing how the sequences sound placed on their standard octaves. Now I'll demonstrate the difference an increase of three semitones makes. This sequence will be verse 1. With that in mind I'll edit the remaining clips accordingly. An increase of eight semitones for the first chorus. An increase of six semitones for the solo. An increase of nine semitones for the second chorus. An increase of four semitones for the second verse. An increase of 10 semitones for the bridge, final chorus and outro. I want to add some variation, so in the three chorus sections I'm going to add a break on bar 6 and a stop half a bar in. I'll add two stops in the final chorus, since it will work well with the vocal. Heading back to MDrummer's interface, I'll click on the additional button and deselect random loops, so I have full control over which loops MDrummer will play. Now, using the velocity control, 
I can choose which loops I want to use for this song. Twenty thirteen. Twenty thirteen. Don't hate the player. Cause I rule this town now Who you want to part is get back Get back Get back y'all Cause I rule this town now Who you want to part is get back Get back Get back y'all Get back Get back Get back Get back Get back Get back Cause I rule this town now Who you want to part is get back Get back Cause I rule this town now Who you want to part is get back Get back Get back y'all Get back Get back Get back Get back Get back Get back y'all Get back Get back y'all Get back Get back Get back Get back Get back Get back y'all Get back y'all Get back Get back Get back To conclude this demonstration, I will play the song through with the drum track. Twenty thirteen. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Yeah. Worldwide. Get back. Get back. Get back, y'all. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get 
get back. I'm curious. Get back. You feel me? Get back. Thanks for watching. Next in the M Drummer tutorial series, I will show you how the song tab can be used as an alternative method.